2019. And our second story takes it to, of course, the halls of so-called government. The Restrict Act is not about TikTok. It gives the government authority over all forms of communication, domestic or abroad. This source goes back to legal insurrection, but we are actually using the link to blacklistednews.com. Sidebar, our buddy Doug, who's been at this as long as we have, he has gone ad-free and needs some support. If you can throw him some love at blacklistednews.com. The Senate, that would be the United States Senate, boasts that the restricting the emergence of security threats that risk information and communications technology, the Restrict Act, they boast that it targets China's TikTok. So then why doesn't the bill say anything about TikTok and doesn't say the words TikTok? That's because it includes all forms of communication, mainly, of course, technology from China, Cuba and Iran, North Korea, Russia, and Venezuela. Quote, the Restrict Act comprehensively addresses the ongoing threat posed by technology from foreign adversaries by better empowering the Department of Commerce to review, prevent, and mitigate ICT transactions that pose undue risk, protecting the U.S. supply chain now and into the future, end quote, said Bilderberger Senator Mark Warner, a Pepsi from the Commonwealth of Virginia, the bill's sponsor, writing in a press release. All of this will be in your show notes. And it's all in the name of national security. It's another freaking Patriot Act. It's an act that gives the executive branch way too much power. The bill allows the Secretary of Commerce. So immediately it was like, wait, who's that now? Currently, that is Gina Raimondo. And all you got to do is go look at their Wikipedia and go, oh, a Rhodes Scholar, a Yale lawyer. Her CPS as Rhode Island governor killed a bunch of kids. You know, that's just on Wikipedia. Kickbacks and sweetheart graph deals from tech companies immediately rewarded with a cabinet position in the Brandon administration after pushing the scamdemic so much in Rhode Island that even now disgraced granny killer Cuomo threatened to sue Raimondo over her forcing New Yorkers to quarantine. Coof World Order works so well in Rhodes Island thanks to her. So it seems, yeah, another willing servant. And of course, again, we don't play the left and right game. If it's not her, it'll be (laughs) be freaking Vince McMahon or something under Trump too or whatever. This bill allows the Secretary of Commerce to review and prohibit certain transactions between persons in the United States and foreign adversaries and for other purposes. The bill identifies other relevant executive department and agency heads who will have a role. And these are the biggies. Secretaries of Treasury, State, Defense, Homeland Security, Attorney General, U.S. Trade Representatives, the DNI, Administer of General Services, and of course, let's not forget the Chairman of the FCC. All those heads are important because the Secretary of Commerce will work with those people to take action, to identify, deter, disrupt, prevent, prohibit, investigate, or otherwise mitigate including by negotiating, entering into, or imposing and enforcing any mitigation measure to address any risk arising from any covered transaction by any person or with respect to any property subject to the jurisdiction of the United States. So if you missed that while I was doing my micro machines fast reading, by any person, anyone, Man, they worked hard on this acronym, James. Restricting the emergence of security threats that risk information and communications technology. You got to give it up to them. The Restrict Act. You can track its hideous progress at congress.gov. And the Free Thought Project also has one on the digital Iron Curtain, how the Restrict Act threatens to devastate privacy and crush free speech online. I'll include the Wikipedia link to read more about Gina Raimondo. So, James, you know, briefly before I throw it to you. Speaking of our Congress critters, they had a big kabuki theater fight on Capitol Hill between the Congress critters that steal my money and their fascist counterparts in the tech monopolies. TikTok CEO admits China has access to user data. It's really amazing to see congressmen and and women congresspersons actually grow a spine and act like they're really sticking it to them. Oh, and uh, look what else is happening. Utah governor signs parental consent law for minors' social media use. And even old universal basic brain chip himself's Twitter test ID verification feature. Some politicians want it enrolled to all users. So I-911 says what? <laughs> everyone everyone drinking along at home can now take a shot in the New World Next Week drinking game. Yes, I-911. So I will I will throw out the uh, the requisite uh let's see, uh Lawrence Lessig, Half Moon Bay, 
Richard Clark, Cyber Patriot Act, you you know all of that stuff by now, right, guys? But yeah, anyway, isn't that interesting? But on this story itself, the Restrict Act, you yeah, you got to give it to them. Man, do they they must have a lot of interns that are just working on the acronyms, huh? That's what but, I was thinking. Okay, <laughs> this this is the perfect follow up to that what we were just talking about because it's exactly, exactly what I was just describing, the infantilization of the public who are trained to expect that the government's going to come along and any problem, the only question is how will the government solve it? And even that question, it's not in our hands. We just elect people and they'll go and they'll solve it somehow, whatever. And I voted Pepsi. I voted Coke. Yay. Um, uh, But this is the exact exact instantiation of that. Play stupid status games, get stupid status prizes. Oh, I know. Oh, the, uh, we, oh, this horrible social media censorship. What can we possibly do about that? I know we'll, we'll get the government to step in and regulate the company so that, so that Instagram is forced to give me an account or something like that. It'll all work out. Get rid of 230, guys. Yay. Oh, no. They're coming in to censor the internet. I didn't expect that. No. No, that wasn't what I wanted. It's just such stupidity. Who could possibly have predicted that people's clamoring for social media crackdown wouldn't go in the way they expect? Oh, wait, that's right. Episode 344 of the Corbett Report podcast, Problem, Reaction, Solution, Internet Censorship Edition, in which I said exactly this is what it is about. They just want to get you guys to say, what will the government do about it? So they can step in and say, oh, don't worry, we're going to take care of uh, TikTok, whatever. We won't even write TikTok in the bill. (laughs) But who cares? We'll just say it's the TikTok bill and people will say it is. It's just, it's such transparent stupidity and nonsense that I almost, I, I am tempted to laugh at how stupid this is and say, ha ha, you guys who were clamoring for the government to step in and start censoring, oh man, you guys are gonna get, get it now. But unfortunately, all of us, all of us who had nothing to do with that and weren't advocating for that will be caught up in the crosshairs of this latest round of government censorship. Anyway, um, I suggest people do some reading on this. Reason.com and all sorts of places have various articles up about the implications, the potential implications of this bill for VPN usage and other such things. But don't worry, guys. The government says, no, 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 no. This is only to go after companies like TikTok and Huawei. It's not about you guys. Right. Uh, although the uh, the actual wording in the bill says any potential future transactions of any person of interest listed in this document. And the person of interest is basically anyone who has anything to do with anything that's deemed a foreign security threat of any sort. <laughs> okay, let's give that carte blanche to government. What could go wrong? It's It's nonsense top to bottom. I would assume most of our listeners already know that without even having to read the bill. But at any rate, if you want to, we'll throw in some links so you can get up to speed on that. In the past two days, journalists and other folks have found their Twitter accounts either flagged or locked down because of reporting on the story about Nashville. And that can hopefully only maybe work in our favor, which again, when regular normies are like, no, I was just trying to upload a speech to show you the horrors of the Nazi regime. Oh, no, you can't have Hitler videos. When teachers and journalists find themselves coming under under the thumb when they're just trying to be normie and, and do their thing. The, those, those, are, those are pretty good cracks that can appear, I guess, in the system. James, the Biden administration has failed to kill the collusion with tech lawsuit, actually, that keeps building and growing. Long story short, the Biden administration, of course, colluded with all the tech platforms to censor posts and media and First Amendment expressions about COVID and the rest. 